Hi, my name is Anthony DeRose. I'm a senior engineer at this lab. What I'd like to do today is give you a tour of our facility and show you our equipment and our testing capabilities. The first area I'd like to show you is our control room. So if you follow me, we'll get started. Welcome to the control room. This is where our engineers will be accessing all the test equipment that we have in the lab. This allows us to have a central location for programming as well as review control of the test stands and ability to have a central location for our, our data collection and a secure area for this onto our servers. And this is done real time for a secure data storage and that also allows us for retrieval of that data and be able to post-process and create reports from this, from this uh, facility. Now I'd like to take you into our main battery test lab area to show you some of the pieces of equipment that we have. We are now in the main battery test lab. One of the first pieces of equipment I wanted to show you was our uh, environmental chamber. This environmental chamber specifically has the capacity of 64 cubic foot. It also has the temperature ranges of minus 45 to 85 degrees Celsius. So we can test batteries at various thermal environments. It is fully uh, controlled through our PEC controller so we can program different levels of temperature throughout the testing. Inside the chamber, it is strictly vented so we can vent out any type of off-gassing of the batteries that may occur during testing. We also have different size environmental chambers within our facility. We have a uh, 16 cubic foot for smaller testing as well as 1100 cubic foot chambers that are actually walk-in for larger batteries. Another piece of equipment I wanted to show you was is our PEC cycler. We have several models here they range from 5 volt capability, 20 volt capability, 100 volt capability, and up to 1,000 volt capability. This particular model is a, a 12 channel. We can measure up to 80 channels at 5 volts. With this particular model, we can measure uh, voltage sense right to the terminals of the test articles. We also have capability of measuring temperature and communication through CAN bus to the battery modules. Continuing on to another piece of equipment we have here. This is a chamber that is built for containing the batteries for ambient test conditions. The purpose of this chamber is to isolate the batteries from the environment around it, allowing for us to create a negative pressure inside the chamber for any issues of off-gassing of the batteries. So it uh, provides a containment area for the batteries while we're doing the ambient testing. Inside the chamber, we'll have specifically made racks to hold batteries. They'll be mounted in here, controlled through the PEC controller over there. Inside the chamber, we have the venting, as you can see, um, up at the top of the chamber, and then we also have venting that pulls in the air from the floor level. Here's another example of a PEC cycler. This particular model has 24 channels, capability for each channel to go to 20 volts and 50 amps. Moving closer to the component itself per channel, we have our voltage sense. Here is our load for drawing current and charging batteries. We have type K thermal couples for temperature, CAN bus communication to modules, analog inputs, and NTC PTC type thermo, thermistors and we also have indicator lights for which modes the actual cycler or channel is within during operation. Here we are in another large area of our lab where we have a, a few other chambers, uh, ambient chambers and uh, walk-in chambers but over here is another piece of equipment. This, this piece of equipment is very vital to uh, our cooling of our PEC controllers. This is our hydraulic unit. It takes in chiller water from outside in a closed loop and also uh, exchanges the heat with another closed loop within the building. And that goes directly to our PEC controllers. And that's important for keeping those uh, electrical boards within that unit cool while it's operating. 
I'd like to show you one of our walk-in chambers. This is 1,100 cubic foot. Has, again, capability of temperatures of minus 45 up to 85 degrees Celsius. Also along with it is the same venting that were, was seen on the other chambers for creating the negative pressure inside the chamber for off-gassing of any of the, the batteries that may occur. Well, thank you for letting me take you on this tour. As you can see, we're still under some construction, but most of our equipment is here and should be functional within the next couple of weeks. So we're looking forward to doing business with you in the future.